two quart saucepan with vanilla candle. This is a Black Friday sale price. I'm making some delightful risotto that needs just a wee little bit of stock and some Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Love risotto. This is the perfect risotto pan. It's a great pan for gravies and sauces, a quick uh, batch of soup. Whatever you may be making, this is going to do its job because this is enamel cast iron. A phenolic stay cool handle, so that handle is going to stay nice and cool on the stovetop. Remember, you can also pop this into the oven and oven safe to 390 degrees because of its handle. Now, let me tell you that this is K48360. You're looking for a great sale price. We've got it for you today. How about that uh, five pay? In. And free shipping and handling? Check. Not many of these to go around, so if there's a color you know you must have, then let me encourage you to get it sooner rather than later. Here is Cerise. 550 left in the cerise. And remember, cerise is the French word for cherry. This is the color I collect in my uh, in my kitchen. Then I've got it for you in oyster. I have 450 in the oyster. Worry not about these tags or these little labels. They peel right off the Le Creuset stock pot or uh, saucepan. This is Marseille. 200 uh, available to go around. Here's flame. 200 in the flame. This is meringue. 220 in the meringue, and finally the emerald. 300 in the emerald. Final presentation of 2020 $185 at retail. We're $70.70 less. And then with the free shipping, we're nearly $84 less. This is incredible. So many great choices. And I've got sausage gravy going here on top of the stove, ready to be spooned out on biscuits. Whatever you're cooking, or if there's someone on your gift list that loves their Le Creuset, we've got a screaming good deal for you today. Greg Shockley is joining us live via Skype. Let's see if he got all tropical on us. Yes, he did. I didn't get tropical, but I got summery. How's that? Well, you know what? Summery <laughs> will do. I don't have any wine shirt. Hey, you know what you did, though? You wore your sunglasses, <laughs> and you have a nice lid on, so that's nice. All right. No right. worries there, Mr. There Shockley. Talk to us about this saucepan. This is a great add-on piece to your collection, isn't it? It really is, and I'll tell you what, not only is it a great add-on, this is a must-have, because I tell you, it can make everything from your oatmeal, which I eat nearly every single day. You talked about the properties of the cast iron, the fact that it retains heat, it distributes heat like nothing else, so it gives perfect, perfect even cooking for oatmeal, so that when you turn um, the heat on and you got everything boiling, and then it usually gives the instructions to lit it and just turn the heat off, this insulates the heat all the way up the sides of the pan and kind of cooks all the way through. So if you're talking about oatmeal or you're talking about the perfect rice, it's, it's absolutely awesome for that. What, David, what do you got over there? Some country gravy? Oh, this is sausage gravy and biscuits. Are you kidding? Oh, uh, that, that looks Ooh. amazing. Over it, it, and you know, guys, this is the time of the year, too, that you talk about doing your soups and your stews. I've got this beautiful marinara sauce. And David, you know, I'm, I'm an empty nester and have been for a couple of years, just my wife and I, so we're not kind of eating for, for a large group anymore. But what we're doing is I've got my beautiful marinara sauce that we just made a nice portion. We'll still have some leftovers, and then we've got some meatballs in there. But again, that thick cast iron bottom ensures that you're going to get great results. It's, you're not going to have burning on there. It's going to give that nice caramelization to your tomatoes to give you the best results possible. The one other thing that I really love, you know, this pan was really developed in France, obviously, but thought, you know, a saucier and making sauces is a technique. And one of the things that we have in here, you'll notice we have a vent hole right here in the lid. That allows, so sauces in most cases, whether it's a tomato sauce or, or, or making a, a beef sauce or a chicken sauce, it usually has to reduce a little bit. So in order to reduce, we have to let some of the steam out. And this allows that perfect steam, you know, to release from there. And again, that's why it's kind of perfect for so many other things that we've got on here. And I talked about that perfect rice. Rice for a lot of people is so hard to cook, but take a look at this. It is wonderful, it is flaky. Again, I turn the heat off, I kept the lid on there, and it, it keeps all of that heat, and you know, all that steam to kind of go on here. So let me grab my plate. Mm. Everything, all the grains are separated. No sticky rice in that bunch. No sticky rice at all, David. I would not have that in my kitchen. <laughs> but again, having the right tools, you know, I talk about this all the time. Having the right tools makes you a better cook. 
And that goes with anything. So you have to have the right cookware to get the right result. Let me tell you about colors and let you know now that we've taken orders for 700 of these are gone. This is such a good price. And if you already own some Le Creuset and you're looking to add a piece that you will use day in and day out, this is that one you're going to reach for. Make oatmeal in the morning, make grits in the morning, do a quick bowl of soup in the afternoon, use it for a sauce with your dinner. This is cerise. I have 350 left in the cerise. This is oyster. Fewer than 300. Marseille, named after the southern port city of France, and I have fewer than five dozen to go around. Flame was the first color ever at Le Creuset, and I have fewer than 120. Beside that is the meringue, fewer than 100, and then emerald, 230. Let me show you something that's happening over here, which I think is pretty fancy. We've got caramel sauce melting and simmering on the stove. And I've got a banana split here that's just screaming for a little bit of this caramel. So why don't we just do a little drizzle. David, great the minds think alike because I have mine going over here too. Do you? <laughs> All right, let me pop that pan out of the way so you can see a little better. <laughs> Look at this. Not a little caramel, a lot of caramel. Come on now. Hey, and you know what, David? To, to get the right results for a caramel, remember you're going to put your sugar basically in a pan and that just kind of caramelizes down to turn into caramel. It liquefies gets brown and turns into caramel. Most pans, if you try to do this in say an aluminum pan, you're generally gonna probably have, you're gonna have burning. This allows because you have that cast iron, it distributes the heat. You get this beautiful, beautiful caramel. And then I've got apple pie on mine, David. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my apple pie. Hey, and Greg, while you do that, I've got an update because we have lost one of our colors. In fact, half the quantity okay. we brought in, actually over half of the quantity we brought in for today's show is gone. Here is Cerise, French word for cherry, 250. Here's oyster, 200. Over here is emerald, 200. Meringue, six dozen. Flame, 90. And Marseille has sold out. We'll take that away. Mr. Shockley, we're going to see you a little later. Thank you for being here, buddy. Thanks, David. I'm going to pull up my chili right here, and I'm good. <laughs> All right, we're going to check in with Mary and see what's going on in the world of, oh, I don't know, 